Hello everyone and welcome to Tips, Tricks, and Tools, a series that shows off cool tips and tricks or highlights a particular tool that I've found very helpful in my day today as a web developer. Today I wanted to show off a quick tip when using iTerm. If you're anything like me, you avoid using the mouse as much as possible. When I'm working within a code base, I oftentimes use Alt or Command plus the arrow keys to jump around words and lines. Like in this example, my project seems a little plain, so I will hold Alt and use the left arrow key to jump between these words and write personal. So that lets me get around a lot faster. I can even jump to the end of the line using Command left and right. If you try to jump between words in iTerm like this, you'll get that fun error sound. Luckily, iTerm makes it pretty easy to change this behavior. If you open iTerm's preferences, navigate to the Profiles tab, and click on Keys, you'll see a list of shortcut keys. In this case, the shortcut keys listed here are the iTerm defaults. So to start, we'll set up iTerm to allow us to jump between words using Alt and arrow keys. Click the plus sign shown here, enter the shortcut you want, in this case we'll do Alt left to jump to the start of a word. The action we want in the drop down menu will be send escape sequence, and the character to send will be B, and this will allow us to jump to the start. Next we'll repeat for the end of the word with the character being F. In some cases you may need to restart iTerm for these changes to take place. Now if I were to write out some commit message, but I noticed a typo, I can quickly jump between words using Alt and the arrow keys. Lastly, I'll add jumping to the start and end of lines. However, iTerm will complain about this overwriting a global default. We'll repeat the process, but instead of send escape sequence, we'll be sending a hex code this time. So for command left, we do action, send hex code, and the hex code we'll be sending is 0x01. And here's that warning I was talking about where you're overwriting a global shortcut. And again, we'll repeat for command right and send the hex code 0x05. And now we can jump to the end and beginning of lines using command and the arrow keys. Now when moving your cursor around an I term, it'll feel much more familiar to that of when you are coding in your editor. Hopefully you found this quick tip useful. If you did, feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching.